Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the sidereal sign of Scorpio. And this means if your moon or your ascendant is in Scorpio, this is the message for you. But please double check if you don't know your sidereal Vedic sign. It is diff different than your Western tropical sign. So if you're unclear of what sign to listen to, please go to my website to the free chart calculator, which is Galactic Center. Dot org. And now that we know that your sidereal ascendant or moon sign are in Scorpio, let me just say this is the year that you've been waiting for that brings you financial gains and opportunities. This is a new beginning financially because you have had a pretty stressful time over the course of the past year. While well, Saturn and K2 have been in your second house of money, yes, you might have done well, but boy, it was a little stressful. Now it's going to be easy. Now the money comes, and probably the money comes from all the hard work and efforts that you have put in in the year before. So now you get to sit back, relax, and reap the benefits of the hard work that you have put in. And family matters. There's a lot going on concerning the family. A lot of things that are unclear and things that keep changing all the time. This will change. And you're going to get a lot more clarity concerning family matters and things going on with the family. Clarity. The truth will come out. And another thing. With this Jupiter K2 in your second house, all of a sudden you're going to feel like your voice is clear, unblocked. You can speak your truth again because it just didn't feel right or you felt like people weren't listening and you felt like your voice, you lost your voice. This was basically all of last year. Now you've got your voice back. People are hearing you speak your mind, be truthful and people will hear you. Finally, you will be validated for the truths in, that you speak and that you know. And many things from your past will come up that will clear the air from the disruption or the things that you felt like were blocked for so long in the area of voicing your, your truth, voicing your beliefs and who you are. This is so empowering. And you know, this might even be the reason why the blocks to your financial situations are unleashed. Because once your voice is clear and your truth comes out, so does your prosperity and wealth. So around the months, the end of March and April, You'll find that there's some kind of obstacles that may come in the way in terms of some setbacks or delays with travel plans. Don't worry, it's only temporary. And if you have brothers or sisters, there may be some issues or problems that need to be worked out and addressed. But by the months of April, May, and June, there is things are progressive in the area of your travel plans and things where there was a little bit of block in the spring, in the early summer, it's released and you'll be going on these trips. You'll be learning this new information. You'll feel like the things that were closed down open up and you're free. And that's a good feeling to feel free again, to feel alive again, especially in the area of what it is you're trying to work on and achieve. Now, the summer months, primarily May, June, July, and August, relationships improve. They get much, much better. There's a harmony and a connection. And things are coming together. The people that you meet, possibly dating or getting to know better, it's going to progress. And by the time we move into September, beginning September and throughout the next year of 2021, you will find that 
relationships come into your life, they're serious, but be aware that your partner may be a little bit of an extremist and demand a lot more than the dating period of the summer. But that's okay. They're becoming and showing their true colors of who they really are. And if you accept it, then you will probably find that you'll be together. But you've got to accept who they really are. Their true colors are going to shine the end of 2020 and into 2021. Be aware. Now, looking at where everything is headed into 2021 for Scorpio, Travel plans are good. Healing relationships come together with brothers and sisters. But then into 2021, let's just say things are shifting. The things you are learning, the way that you're growing is producing a change where you might be looking in a new location that is for your home. But that's not until the year of 20, late 2021, but that's all coming your way. And this is going to be a monumental year with bringing relationships a bit closer. And the other aspect of what's coming, particularly more than anything, is your ability to unleash your potential for wealth and money because that has been delayed for quite some time. And now it's time for things to open and your productivity is going to grow. You will be success. Open your eyes to all the possibilities and open your heart. But mo most of all, realize that what you have to say in terms of your beliefs and your truths are hugely important, especially unleashing your potential for wealth and success in the world. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me or you would like a reading, please go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Or if you would like to learn Vedic astrology, you can go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.